Today, what I want to do is talk a bit about uh, composite functions and uh, specifically about uh, how to evaluate problems with composite functions. Um, we have two equations here, ft, which is this, and g of x. And uh, we are asked to find out f of g of 2. Um, and whenever you're dealing with these kind of situations and these uh, functions of composite functions, um, the rule of thumb really is to work backwards. So in this scenario, you would be working to solve g of 2 first, and then we will tackle f of g. So how we go about doing it is because we have a g of x equation right here, we are going to use that, but since we've got a 2 figure here, we're going to do g of 2 equals, we're going to substitute the 2 figure for every x that we find in this equation here. So 5, 2 in the brackets, wherever, the, wherever you find a x, 6 bracket 2. So that is what we have. Now we just have to solve it. And um, if you know the uh, order of operations in mathematics, you start with the parentheses first or the brackets. Um, solving all of this up would give you 8. Your answer would be 8. Okay, so your g of 2 um, uh, equation would lead to an answer of 8. Great, so you have this answer here now. Now you can feed this back to the f of t equation because now we have solved for this. Now we are going for this one right here. So we do an f of 8 since uh, we have the 8 answer here. So what we're going to do is um, uh, substitute 8 for every very find t. Um, so it's going to go about like this, negative 6, bracket 8, square, negative 3, bracket 8, plus 3. I'm going to bring this down here because um, in our space. And uh, bracket. Now, here's the tricky bit. You're going to see that we have a g of t function here. And uh, really what you do whenever you find a function inside a function formula is you literally just do this. You do g, and since we have a function of 8, we are going to substitute the t here for 8. Now, it's very important here that you stop and you don't actually just keep um, calculating here as it is because now what you need to do is find the new function of g of 8. So we're going to hold this equation for a, uh, for a bit of a pause right now, and we're going to go back. We're going to go back, and we're going to do a new equation, which is g of 8, which is, again, you're going to put back, feed back the 8 in this formula here, which is 5x squared plus 6x. Wherever you find an x, just put an 8 over there. So we would be doing... 5 bracket 8 square minus 6 bracket 8 and what you're going to get over here after solving, remember the order operations, you, you take care of the parentheses or the um, exponentials and the equation in the brackets first, so you solve the this bit first and then you uh, multiply and then you subtract uh, this is going to lead you with the answer of 272, final answer. Okay, now that is your g of 8 answer, 272. So what you're going to really feed here is not g of 8. I'm going to, I'm going to delete that here. And uh, I'm just going to put back 272 because that's really what you need over there. Um, Taking care of the rest of this, uh, I'm just going to quickly go through the um, calculations and uh, you will be left with 408. And uh, that is how you do composite functions.